Okay, YouTube, this is Maker Steve in the workshop, and uh, I want to go over uh, build surfaces today. And I've got a, a couple examples here. I've kind of been waiting all day for this one to finish. I got a couple examples uh, of build surfaces that allow you to compare and const contrast um, what works best for you. So the first one I'm going to start with is down here. It's a uh, Magnetic build plate um, works pretty good. This is a generic, uh, kind of a cheaper model, um, but you can see the print comes right off. Um, to contrast that against the material that came on that printer, um, this was this the bed that was uh, stuck right to the uh, uh, heat bed and. I could not get it off while it was still glued to the printer and it's been on there for a couple of weeks so that's why I changed to that. Um, so then we're going to go over to the uh, the classic Ender um, removable build plate that comes from Creality. Um, very good uh, material, um, reusable, it's flexible, prints just come straight off. Uh, very good. Uh, the catch is you've got to clip it on and clip it off. Um, down here, I've got a uh, magnetic build plate um, from Creality. It is the right size for the bed. You can see it comes off um, quite easily. Um, and again, just peels right off. Uh, and it goes back on and you can start printing immediately once, once that... Uh, is step back on there. The drawbacks to uh, magnetic are at higher temp temperatures, the uh, uh, magnetic ability uh, quits and your bed will come loose so it doesn't work uh, as well with uh, um, filaments that require higher temperatures. I'll move you back up here and this is what I call magic. Um, this is a Creality branded uh, borosilicate plate um, with some kind of coating um, and when it's printing it's stuck and then when it's ready to come off it just comes off. It's uh, fantastic. Um, so I ordered a couple for the uh, Ender 3's I have um, just to test out. I haven't had a problem with anything letting go. Um, it's a great great print bed. Um, my old standby is right here. It's glass um, and you can get prints that are quite stuck to uh, glass and I use canned air to get them to come off typically um, and sometimes you have to put it in the, the freezer so with the newer um, print surfaces that they're coming out with today um, you're able to uh, remove your print and get back to printing much quicker the, the, uh, Takeaway is with magnetic, you don't need any binder clips, but you can't do high temp. Um, with uh, the borosilicate or the polycarbonate, you're still stuck with binder clips, but it's take it off and get back to printing. Um, I did buy a, genetic, uh, a generic full size uh, for my uh, CR10, and you'll see all the generics are just a little bit smaller. Um, and this is a magnetic build plate, comes in part A and part B with a uh, sticky 3M backside and you just clean it off however you choose to clean it off. I used alcohol because there was no fuss, no muss. And, uh, and then you stick it on there, but you'll, you'll notice that you're missing a few millimeters on the, uh, the generic. Um, they're not the same size as your hotbed. So, uh, there you have it. Um, I've gone over just about everything. I didn't cover um, tape. I got off that bandwagon right out of the gate. With glass, I typically just use uh, Elmer's glue, which happens to work um, great as long as the uh, bed is good and level. Um, but now that I've seen these newer beds, I'm going to switch uh, over. Um, glass will break every now and again. I don't know how durable this is, but this print surface is fantastic. I've printed, I don't know, eight or nine of these so far, um, 
and they just it keeps going. So quite happy with that. Still love the polycarbonate, um, and magnetic is the way to go too. So there's a lot of choices there. Um, I think the most durable is going to be this uh, um, porosilicate glass from Creality. So that would be my highest recommendation. And then uh, I, I still quite like the uh, polycarbonate. So with that being said, I'm signing off. Have a good night.